Hey everybody, it's Isle here. Welcome back to another episode of the Long Dark Road to 500 Days on Interloper Mode. Um, last episode we had done a bunch of stuff. Uh, been a day since I've last played or recorded. Uh, the main thing that we were doing was getting our uh, tip-ups ready. We don't need this on us. Um, and we have arrived uh, here. It's the morning time. And we just glanced outside to check the weather uh, right before we ended the episode, and it was uh, not pleasant. Um, of course, we can't uh, see right now. And limited lamp fuel. But I hate the dark so much. So, we have been gathering up supplies, wood supplies. Um, one piece of coal. I've got a bunch of wood here and a whole bunch of sticks. So, we really need to go out and clobber a tree so um, to get a little bit more the other thing though is we could also just uh, break some stuff up in here so um, i think we might do a bit of that put this out let's do this and this will bring the light into our lives fairly soon there's another crate over here somewhere if i remember or a chair or something um, just can't quite see good yet. Trying to find something that I can break down with my hands. Uh, that, that'll work. And that'll get us light. Now we can see. Let's have a drink. I think we're pretty happy. So now if we check our wood supply, all that, plus all these sticks, right? So that is eight of these. Piece of coal and all these sticks, and even a book or two if we wanted. Um, oh, my maple sapling has cured. So I would say that uh, repairing my bow is important. How do you repair your bow? Mm. Can you repair a bow? Oh, do I need tools to do that? I bet I do, don't I? Hmm. My tools, if memory serves me correctly, are probably sitting over in the uh, trapper's zone. Yeah, that's where I would have left them. I assume that's how you do it. Or is it that I don't have an, the materials? Do I need guts in order to do that? No. I've totally forgotten how you do that. I assume I need tools on me to do that. So maybe that's a problem. Okay, well, we're not going to take care of that right now because I'm not going all the way back there to get my tools. I'll go there when we feel like going there. Just drop these for now. Um, because, yeah, we need to do the... We need to do fishing. So I'm going to have to go and... Mm, do a oh nice wind well regardless gotta do a condition burn there we go we got out of it yeah we're gonna just do a condition burn on this thing okay that's good Hmm. Grab ourselves some sticks. Uh, we'll get back. Yeah, we'll get you back inside. Don't worry about it. A full bar condition is something to be spent. So 
now I'm now I left those things down on the ice, I believe, didn't I? Okay, I am back. I went and made a coffee in real life because uh, coffee and fishing sounds like a great plan. But we are ready to go. We have a few things we need to do uh, related to weight management. It's mostly going to be in here, so we don't need this, 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 this. The rest I think I will keep. Um, I'm going to dump all those torches, actually, in a minute. So, so that's where I'll keep it at now. What we do need, though, is we need our hammer. And we need a bedroll, just in case. Um, what? How did I miss that? Okay. I'll take it. Um, happy to find some tea. Always happy to find tea. Okay, we gotta get our tip ups. Six. And we need all our wood. I got the hammer, I got all the wood, I got the tip ups. I think we're good. Am I forgetting anything? All the wood, tip ups, hammer, cooking things, bedroll. Yep. Yeah. We're good. Let's go. Fishing time. That board will be rotten by now, but uh, don't care. When I have cooking level five, I will gladly eat it. Okay, we got some serious wind going on. This fishing hut with this wind, sometimes these huts get buggy. Where if you light a torch inside, it blows out. I have had uh, issues where I've like lit a torch and it's blown out when there's high winds when you're inside them. So um, I tend to get nervous about doing that. It blows matches for no reason. Anyhow, let's just get in there and start a fire. We're freezing. I don't think I've been out here yet. Yeah, I haven't been here yet. There's a bunch of goodies, but I'm freezing. So let's just start this with a stick. I'd say 95% is pretty good that I don't have to worry about the torch method too much anymore. For the 1 in 20 failure chance, I think I can afford it. Perfect. Put coal in, and we're going to put all the reclaimed wood in, because it's, it's crapola. We'll go with that for now, and then let's uh, grab some of this. Let's drop our four-seater here. And we'll drop our sticks here. Nope. Uh, this. Drop all. And well, we'll drop this too. Um, so that's set up. Let's get a, um, a cooking pot going. Or a nice uh, bit of water. Um, I'll take this flare. And I'll search these things. I'll search these. I'll search this. And I'll get nothing. Okay, so. Um, fire is on. Pretty much set, so let's get the work. I'll start with this one. Hammer is a much, much better thing to use for these, uh, because you can repair it. Oh, good, and the wind's gone. Okay, let's get a... Get one going. Now we gotta lay these out properly. Uh, I think about three in the front. Um, so it's here, hole. I think I'll put one. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I think I'll just put one there. Where are we at here? Really, eh? That's how long that takes? My god. 
Well, cook more. Uh, yeah, we have a uh, fish on already. Okay. Get that going. Um, let's do a dropping zone here. Like this. You don't need to be attracting any wildlife. Okay, I need to uh, get another hole in place. I guess they take like an hour per hole or 45 minutes or something like that when you first do them. Okay, so then uh, what we want to do is keep preserving condition. So we're going to just clear the ice on them. This one's there. And I'll explain everything in a minute. Okay, so where are we at on this? Uh, okay, so we can do that. It is like an hour per hole. Um, but point is, you've started fishing, so I'm going to put this one here. No, I think I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to put one here, yeah. Let's see how close can I get it. Oh, let's go like that, okay. Okay, that's good. And then we'll start doing it over here. I uh, better get this taken care of. Okay. Uh, water. Cook. And um, we'll do a clearing. Okay. Let's get another one put in place. I might want to drink some. Oh, dingle, dingle. Fish on. Okay. I think I'll drink some water. Alrighty. What'd you, oh, perfect. Lovely bass. So, oh, what do we got here? White fish. Okay. Let's get this. Uh, I hear my water bubbling and boiling. Get those fish laid down. Everything is looking good. Let's check the water. 24 minutes until boiled. And I think it'll be okay. Let's just slam one down real fast. Right there. I don't think it'll boil off before I get this in. The sooner I get them built, the better. Look how long it's taking. Like six hours just to get them in. But we're catching fish while we're doing it. So... There's one. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll get this bass. We'll start cooking you up. 35 minutes. Okay, none of these ones are done. I think we'll get one more in here. Can we do it before burning the fish? I don't know. Risky. I'm going to go for it. I may burn that bass. Wish it would tell you how long it's going to take. Dingle, dingle. Fish on. Fishing tackle is required for ice fishing. Oh, I made one too many. That's right. It's only five outside. That's, that's right. <laughs> what an idiot I am. Made that one for no reason. Um, let these all get frozen up. Okay, well, we're on now. We're done. I knew I was getting it. Doing something wrong there if I was setting it up. It only needs to be five. Okay, anyways. Um 2.43 kilograms, eh? 1327. Very nice. Uh that's um might as well just keep cooking fish. Now that we're in action. Alright, so. Hello. 35% frozen, yeah. It's, 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 while I was building the holes, I really kind of got uh, carried in the wear. I'm not uh, doing the technique properly, right? Okay, now we're doing it right. Let's get this one cleared. I heard another one go. Okay, that one's cleared. Uh, this one, yeah. No, oh, there's maybe another one. Okay. Get this one cleared. 
And that'll be, uh, that'll solve all that. How are we doing here? Oh man, we were almost a little bit late on that. Right, let's uh, dump some food. We can drop a fish and take control of this situation. Wow. I don't think we have any wildlife out here. Did I not get a fish off those? What happened there? Did I get line stuff on? I wasn't even paying attention. I thought I got a fish off them. No, oh, this one's going to be... Okay, now we got them all done. Oh, yeah, nope. Got nothing. Yeah, so we got nothing, eh? That was bad. Not happy about that. At all. Okay, how's my fire doing? How's my fish doing? Only an hour left on it. Wow, that's a lot going on here. Oops. Okay, so if you've never watched my fishing, uh, here we go, uh, any of my previous fishing episodes, I will explain what is going on. Um, so these tip ups take condition damage when I like get um, a percent while they're frozen per hour, right? Once they get some frozen, they go like 1% an hour or something like that. And I think it's 10% damage if you, uh, if it says, you know, it's the line snapped or whatever it is, right? Um, but when you clear the ice, they won't, they don't take any damage for 10 minutes of game time um, because they're not frozen. So as long as you actively clear them as fast as you can, you're going to extend their life uh, dramatically. <clears throat> so that's why I do what I'm doing. I got off to a bit of a rough start. What I should have done is one hole, clear them all, one hole, clear them all, and so on, right? Anyways, whatever. Um, so see, this 1%, so boom. It just takes a second to do, but now it's... 10 minutes of game time, it's not going to take any damage. You can really preserve the life on them if you active fish like this. Oh, there's a nice, there's a nice one. How are we doing here? Four minutes? I'll pass for that. Take that. Let's cook that bass. No, that's, I didn't, mm, didn't want to do that. Um, doesn't matter now it's prepared. Um, there we go. Get that big bass going. Um, yeah, she said it's night, but we're going to be fishing all night because we expend, like, we really aren't going to get... So there, you see, you got to get these things cleared as fast as they uh, get frozen. And that way, and if you use the hammer, right, the hammer, these tools, while they're doing that, are going to slowly take damage. The hammer, you repair it, you repair it with, um, whatchamacallit. I think I need quality tools to repair things, though like hammer bow and stuff like that. I haven't found any, so probably gonna have to go to Milton Town very soon um, and try and find some tools because there's not very, I mean, I could just look at the hunting blind, but it's like, there's not a lot of places left for me to check in this zone where there could be tools hanging out. So I better put some more fuel on here. Oh, well, wait a minute. I don't want to do that necessarily. Um... I think I'll drop these and just, uh, oh, 30, 40, 50. and put all that on there, um, for reasons. Okay, so I got three hours on there, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take this, 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 one, two, um, I don't think I'm going to, oh, do this. Um, we're going to leave that for a minute because what we're going to do is uh, we're going to just pick this side for the hell of it. 
Um, and we're going to put down a campfire here. And we'll just use a match. Piece of stick. Yeah, the old way of fishing was so boring. Now it's like, it's quite action filled. You can get a lot going on. You can turn this into a real intense little mini game. I hear a wolf somewhere in the background, but I don't think there's any on the ice with me. Okay, so what I'm going to do on this, I'm going to put one of these on. And then I'm going to come here and I'm going to say, let's do another one. Sure, use a match. 95% skill now, it's like, the whole lighting the torch thing has become redundant. I can tell it fails and then everyone will laugh. Come on. And we'll just stick again this on here. All right. And I'm going to just drop these here. Yeah. I'm going to do this real fast. Drop. I know the direction. Just in case all of a sudden it's a blizzard and I just want to check myself before I wreck myself. Um, okay, so we're going to take all this. We just got three. Anybody tipped up? No? We have fish going here that's burning. And I go and put my... Uh... Oh, we do have a few things. Okay, I'm going to drop these we got four fish okay so we're gonna go like this and start dropping our fish here yeah and we're gonna get some uh action jacks and fishing go or cooking going on we got 30 minutes across the board and then we'll check on our tip ups um start breaking ice out Something just sprung. The one inside freezes slower, I think, because it's the fire. Okay, so you sprung. Okay, start fishing. This one sprung. Okay, start fishing. Okay, that's all good. Was anything cooking in here? Nope. So what we're going to do is do water. Can't let a good fire go to waste. Two hours with lots of time on that. So the water's going. Uh, get outside. And uh, check on these guys. Done. 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 And done. Put these all here. And we got these ones can go here. Get these on the Barbie. There we go. Check 44 and get away from it. We don't want to be standing. We want to stand right about there. Okay, cleared 2%. Now we're now we're doing it properly. There's one. Okay. Back it up. We don't want to we want to down you want a single down arrow. And you just gotta keep checking these. Uh as soon as you get one where it's like this, then Break it up and wait. Break it up. Check the inside one. Yeah. That's the water. Lots of time. This is clear, 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 clear. There are my fish. Lots of time. Okay, and just stand. I'll just stand here somewhere with a down arrow on my temperature. And it'll, uh, to uh, extend the fires. You can even go two down arrows if you want. You can warm up so easily. That one didn't even need to be broken out. Well, we can uh, drop this puppy. Anybody out on the ice? Nope. It's very quiet. By now, I need to do some breaking. 
So it's like kind of like a cool mini game, honestly. I love it. I really enjoy the tip up fishing once you know how to do it. You find it's just uh there's an art form to it, yeah, if you know what I mean. Nope, I think we might have some burgers. Get some more of these down. Okay, so white fish. Okay, let's see what we got here. This one, six twenty-four, and a four ninety-six, and a four sixty-four. Isn't not bad. I guess I'm full. Leave this one back out a bit so we know it's a small one, and we'll just finish it later. Um. Yeah, I'm very full. Okay. Who tipped? Right there. Good. time we got 16 minutes okay since the weather is cooperating we'll uh, gladly add another log to each one there we go Oh, another bass. I almost missed that one. How are we doing there? 24 minutes. Go over here. Okay. Oops. And they this one will close up once it fill once it uh scurbies. So. Oops, what am I doing? I have to eat that. To get rid of it. Five minutes. They're all looking good. Oh, so you only want to have six total, including the one inside. The one inside has a slightly better chance of catching fish, plus it takes longer to freeze because it's warm inside. Um, but if you have more than six, the other ones will literally not catch fish. Um, and you can also fish the spot out, like, and you'll still catch fish, but it'll be much slower. And it's like a diminishing returns factor. Um, but overall, a night fish like this, with six of them going, will produce usually a, mm, a pretty good uh, amount of uh, food. And so let's see, white fish, white fish. We have a lot of white fish, right? Is there any bass? I thought I had enough. I mean, maybe I ate the bass. 
Thought I had a bass still. Probably not. There's one on the fire, but... Oh, wait, what are these at? It's still an hour. If your condition ever get, or I mean, if your temperature gets too low, then you can just step inside a, a little bit, right? So you can start working it back up. But just don't go, like, stay out as little as you can. Like, so now I'll stand here, and uh, it'll slowly start to come up. So I kind of, uh, it was hot and heavy for a while. Uh oh, this one's up. What are we doing here? No reason not to keep making water. This one get, needs to go on the fire. I actually like the mystery lake, like lake fishing, better than the ocean fishing. Um, I don't know exactly why, I just, uh, I feel like it produces better, but people say it doesn't, but I don't know, Mike's, my opinion is, is, is that up or, no, my opinion is it produces better overall, but um, that could just be anecdotal, you know. I'm going to put this... Uh, one over here. Look at that. 1,700. And that's, that's a big fish. You know, we got some ice breaking to do. Main thing is don't stand inside the hut when you're doing this. Okay. Because your fire will just burn so much faster if you do that. The wood. So don't like stand there keeping all toasty and warm. What, what, you don't need to be warm. You just need to not be freezing. So you can see how I'm balancing it out. It's extending my fire, right? Okay, so all these were... No, this one has to go. Um, how are we doing inside? This one needs to be done. Literally every time I come in to check on things, right? Then uh, I get toasty warm again. So then I just, like back off and hang out in the cold zone. He's got 35. I better add a little bit more. Start getting them in sync with the inside one. Then we'll go in here and grab uh, everything we got. Okay, so that'll be all the wood. And divide it up evenly. Then one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that was it. So, there we go. Hour and 24 on those. Yep. Synced up perfectly. And we got water going, right? Yep. Okay, let's back off. And, uh... Oops. Sometimes I grab them by accident. She just said she... Oh, maybe said she drinks snow. I thought she said she was going to eat snow. Well, she probably did, but she means because she's thirsty. So. Okay, so that's wonderful. So now we're going to have an aurora for our fishing, which is just beautiful. As long as there's no, like, you know, there's no wildlife anywhere. So we should be fine. So, like, you can see we hit this lull in the action, right? It's coming in quite slow, but they, they, they will keep producing. Um, but all of a sudden it'll like, it'll like almost like replenish itself. And then, uh, you might get like another sudden real good spurt of, uh, of fish action. If that's what you are after. We got this beautiful Aurora going on. I 
it's so nice and bright out. I could read a book, but... Oh, there we go. This is an excellent way to maintain your vitamin C for your anti-scurvy, as well as to uh, deal with cabin fever, because you're spending so much time outside, right? So after this, like, you can go craft now for an entire day if you want to, which I'm probably going to end up doing. Either that or I go to Milton. I'm uh, probably going to have to go to Milton Lake. I, gotta, I can't believe I'm going to have to go find quality tools. Maybe I'll go Forlorn Muskeg and look there. I feel like I've found them there a lot before. Just can't believe I've played this long in this many zones and been pretty active at searching. And I guess I should check the fishing huts and everything. You can always find it before I start changing zones. I forgot I didn't. I haven't gone and looted all those yet, so... Something's boiling away here. We'll wait for that. Grab that. Cook more. Still got an hour on this. How are these guys doing? Yeah, lots of time. That one's lower than the other one. Uh-oh. Fish on. Now I can back it off again. Well, it's pretty warm out now. In the middle of the night in an Aurora. It's kind of warm. This got pl Oh! Didn't hear that one. Bass have been very few and far between so far. This one has been producing almost 6%, 7%. What's going on here? I'm slowing down. Cooking, cooking, cooking. Time-wise, looking good. Yep. Two bass so far. The nice thing about Mystery Lake is it's usually a pretty clear run. If there's not wolves out on the ice already, it's like it's not like there's anything between you and home that could cause any grief. And you can just leave all the fish down here on the ice. You don't have to bring it all with you. I think this is one of the best spots to live, proximity-wise. You could get more wood and extend it even more, right? But once you hit this sort of wall of 
diminishing returns if that's what it is i don't know if i how long it takes to fish a spot out but or a lake out but like, i just don't think there's a big advantage it's better to go away for a couple days come back and you'll get that first flurry of action where they're just popping everywhere and then it'll just become steady like this where they'll just trickle in I don't know, 693. Something clicked. Yeah, this. Um... Some reason this fire is not in sync. Twenty four. Now it is. Give me a couple more before we have to wrap this up. Yeah, I'd say that's gonna be uh that's gonna be it. Um oh, got something oh a bass. Hold on. Can I cook this? Maybe if I stay outside the whole time. These are gonna go out now. drop uh drop fish gonna be uh it's gonna be tight to i'm gonna have to stand out here in the triple down arrows to get that uh bass to cook before the fire goes out see 11 20 okay it's starting to get there just stay out here forgot to put this one back at some point that was dumb no wolves anywhere They're all cleared. Let me 
check it. Six minutes. Ten minutes. Well, we'll just stand out here and we'll get it. We'll get it. Two minutes. Two minutes. <laughs> Okay, it's probably ready. I hope I heard a fish on. Got it. That's out. Take my skillet. Get another uh, bass. Drop that for now. And that is a good haul. Oh, we got one more online here. Okay, we're done. So, what we have to do drop this guy. Take these. Okay, and this one too. All right. Now we can put these, uh, you can have to check these, right? 87, 86, 83, uh, 78, 77, 76. So not even 24%. And again, line snaps uh, do 10%. So. Uh, this one had no line snaps, obviously. Um, anyways, that's uh, see how by doing that you can get a lot of life out of them, right? Okay, so it's getting pretty cold. She's complaining. So there's that. I got all the water on me right now. I think we'll just take these big ones. And we leave all this here. And that's about as slow as I feel like moving today. I mean, that's already ridiculous. But... I have the condition to burn, and I want to have a bunch of calories up there. Yeah, we need to go back to trappers at some point, but I'm going to go down there and uh, I'm going to go down and loot all those cabins in the morning because because um, maybe I'll find quality tools in one of the fishing huts, or I don't know. I'll just go to hope. I got to go hope. Um, because otherwise I'm going to have to go to a different zone to look for them. That's not very good. What is that glowing red like that up there? Looks like a demon tower. Is that like the... What is that? Right, I feel like, like I'm staring at, at Mordor. I've really never paid much attention to the Auroras because I'm usually inside, but it's very wild looking. Whatever that is. I guess I should go investigate it at some point. I haven't even harvested cattails in this region yet. What is that glowing? I'm gonna have to have a look at that in the morning and try and think about what it, that is. Is that a tower over there? Probably one of those watchtowers or something. It's a radio tower. I don't know. Okay, so we can eat as much of this as we can. And drop. Look at this one, 1700. Yep, yeah, drop those. And uh, go inside. That's good. We should be able to drop a ton of water. Like that much. Yeah. And then we'll worry about. Uh, I gotta remember I left my bedroll down there. I should have left the hammer, so I didn't quite roll up the way I should have. Why is this thing making so much noise? 
awfully noisy. I have a lot of green tea. Wow. I think we're good. So we're not going to sleep the whole night, though. We don't want to waste the entire day away. I think we're going to sleep like six hours. Otherwise, the whole day will be gone. I'm definitely not in the mood for that. Like already. Yeah, it's, it's a good time to wake up. I could have probably slept for a little bit longer. Yeah, I can probably sleep for another two hours. Yeah, that's a bit better. I hear some nasty weather outside. Did I bring those tip ups back with me? No, I put him in the I put him in the cabinet. Yeah, I wasn't that dumb. Oh, I did bring my bear roll with me and my hammer. Okay, the hammer I should have left down there in the closet, but that eh, doesn't matter. It just would have been less less stuff to drag around, so I won't put in there. Put in this one. Bed roll. Hammer. Now oh, we'll keep a flare on us. Yeah, so I, I got a, a significant amount of uh, oil so far. Um, so actions, refuel. That's lovely. A night of fishing will fill a lantern. Um, 86%. Boy, it's low. These can all get put away. Start to clean up a little around here. Let's try and stay organized. Okay, you're not supposed to be in here. This is only supposed to be parts. Why is there an arrow in there? Okay, go into this and transfer all. This one needs to be cured still. I think. Yeah. We can stay. This is some books. Firewood books. Why is this books doing this? Never seen a book stand on its edge before. Very odd uh, behavior. Let's go back in here. It's starting to get a little more organized. Um, this is tools. Can we put this in here? Yeah. And let's look at tools. Um, the hook in there. It's all good. Probably keep all this stuff on us. This thing I put on the workbench. I think that's okay. I'll put this here. All right, so I think I've done everything I should do for being organized for at least the next 10 minutes. Um, I hope I'm not forgetting something important. Oh, I guess I'm forgetting that it's a blizzard outside. So I'm going to go get a drink in real life and uh, think about what my next move is for a second. Okay, I'm back. All right. Uh, what was the plan? It was to go explore. It still sounds... Oh, yeah, it was Blizzard now, wasn't it? Pretty sure that's still going to be a thing. It is. Do I have any repairs I need to do? 
Everything's above 80, which is what I kind of strive for. Yeah, everything's fine. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll clean up more in here. Maybe that'll change the weather. Two hours to break a chair down. You must be joking me. Okay, that changed the weather. Right, we'll drop this wood. Good though, at least it's cleaned up. It's getting organized in here. I wish, I really wish we could organize all this other junk. Like this piece of paper, why can't I take it? Why must it sit there? No. Oh. I'll take one more water with me. Nah, that's enough. In tournament that's about to happen. Actually, did I eat that steak? I did, didn't I? Yeah, okay. Got a couple nice fish sitting there. Well, now the weather's beautiful. That time of day. Okay. It is that time of day. I think we'll walk along here. We can uh, harvest cattails that are around, if any. It is starting to get a little creepy how uh how how there's no wildlife. Oh yeah, I remembered I wanted to grab that jar of spray paint and start spraying stuff all over the map. Because uh, apparently the oh I've done this already. Uh, apparently the spray paint um, days it doesn't get like snowed over or anything so and you can apparently see it in blizzards and dark like pretty good so I was like well I'm gonna go and spray paint a bunch of stuff or something to do one day um, but you know what I'll find a can of spray paint in these uh cabins down to the other side of the map because there always is at least one can of spray paint sitting somewhere down there I'll get some of this going in case I do decide I'm going to travel this is good travel food kind of itching to go to Broken Railroad spend some time there but until my bear coat is done Although maybe I would, yeah, I, I think I'll get the bear coat done before I start really doing some serious uh, zone travel work. There is literally nothing out here. Not a not a peep. Oh, I've, so I've searched this one, apparently. That's weird. What do they do? Did they come down, skip the one? Probably because there's wolves around or something. I skipped it, and then I I uh, checked this one. Yeah, I think I remember doing that, and I decided I was getting out of dodge because uh, the wolves were starting to give me the evil eye. And I was not in the mood to deal with them. I'm still not. My bow needs to be repaired. I need to go to Forlorn Muskeg eventually, too, and make more tools. More arrowheads. Yeah, I lost an arrow. There was that one deer I shot, and I didn't have much success finding it. I didn't really look that hard, but uh, it'll be one of those things where I'll be wandering across the map on day 256, and I'll find an arrow laying on the ground.
There is nothing going on out here at all but the rent. What is that? That's a wolf. I don't want anything to do with him right now. Yeah, if I could find some quality tools, that would be awesome. In one of these cabins or one of these fishing huts. There's nothing in here. Oh, wow. That's just awesome. Um, I think we'll do this. All right, so this is, uh, I mean, other than this cloth, it's pretty clothless in here. Anyways, I gotta go. Not on a cloth hunting mission. Where'd that wolf go to? Oh yeah, there's lots of books off and down in this stone. In these places. Too many books. Okay, so... Nothing there. Come on, give me something. I haven't gotten anything in so long. Yeah, like most of the food that would be laying around is rotted away. Hopefully that wolf will just leave me be. I got those two. There's like two more I gotta hit. I've had unbelievable luck on getting loot this run. Like really good luck. Right from the early days. No quality tools. Got two of them. There is that wolf. There's a note. There is like literally nothing going on in these places. Starting to feel a little bit ripped off, to tell you the truth. This was a waste of a nice afternoon. I could have been harvesting wood. Oh, there. Oh, yeah. Gore. Spray paint. Can't wait. That's it. That's all I got. This is can of spray paint. I gotta hit this one up, right? More books. Oh, well, it's fuel. I'll drop them in the, the fish hut on the way through. Stim? No. Yeah, can you imagine? This one, right? Yeah. 
There's nothing. This has been a whole lot of nothing. Check these huts when I'm done here with this last one. It's fishing huts on my way out. It's so warm. If I had the bear coat on right now, the temperature would be a positive. And we're past day 50. Last house. More books. Another crate which will have nothing. I've never been so disappointed with the loot in these places in my life. Okay. Next time we'll be back here, it'll be a harvest everything possible out of them. Every bit of metal, cloth, and wood. That'll be something they'll be doing in many, many, many more days. I'm still in the honeymoon phase of the road to 500. I know the uh, the dredge days will come where I'm just like, oh man, what am I going to do today? Uh, I plan on clear, clearing and going and looting every zone, exploring every zone, and all that stuff, right? I want to get all the cattails, if any, are over here, because uh, I'll probably never, ever come back here again to do that. So might as well do it while the weather is semi-decent, although it looks like it's turning. As we head into the evening, early evening. Okay. Oh, that's another thing. What are these things? Yeah, there's some cattails over there. I've, like, seriously, what are these things? I've seen them so much. It's like burdock root. And look how long it takes to harvest them. I think I'm going to grab them just to have. Okay. It takes so long to harvest, though. Like, I get it, you're digging them up, but what, like, what are they for? Making teas? And, and it's obviously DLC stuff, or maybe not, maybe not, but it's definitely, uh, it's something I've never remember being in the game years ago when I played. So, it'll be good to figure out what they are. Maybe they're actually useful. The corpse here. I'm pretty sure the corpse isn't going to produce quality tools for me. Getting our cattail supply. That's a bear cave. He's not home. I think that's his cave. Poor Astrid's getting a little bit chilled. Not so she's not so happy. Knock knock. Any quality tools in here? No, but a sewing kit. Okay, well. I don't think I see any cattails over here. No, I don't. All right. Ooh. 
Astrid, sometimes when she speaks, it spooks me. There's none over there. There might be some around that island. The weather is shifting. And when her stomach growls, I, I sometimes think it's like a wolf. Right here, we got some wood. We'll relocate that. We got a fishing book. Damn. I'm freezing. Since tip ups don't require fishing skill or give any, the fishing book has become redundant because who would ever fish normally? I guess you might if your skill level was five. Even then, I don't think it would even come close to comparing to the tip up method. Oh, there's another one. This is going to be my travel food. If I decide to go to Forlorn or whatever. I want to get a good stockpile going of it. Goodly amount. There is there is zero wildlife out and about except for that one wolf who uh, didn't really pay much attention to me. Okay, I think we're kind of done. Let's head back. I think I can sprint too. Hey, there's nothing out here. I can sprint. Oh yeah, no, no, no. I'm gonna go drop the wood off. Need to drop all this wood off. Drop all, you know, we'll put all these books in here. Okay, so that's the wood taken care of. Okay, now I want to. How do I equip that? Uh, which one of these is it under? Not weaponry, is it special? Yeah, there it is. Okay, choose shape. Uh, this one. This is not shown on the map when sprayed. Confirmed. Uh, rotate. Like this. Okay. Beauty. I have to bring it out every time? Oh, well, that's stupid. Let's do one more. We'll do one more. What is this? Rock cash. What is a rock cash? Now, I'm hoping if I'm down here fishing, I need to get out and there's a blizzard. I could just kind of like, I got this guide marker now to show me exactly which way to walk. I'm usually pretty good about it, but. Normally, I just drop a bunch of uh, cattails or tinders in a row in order to give my got itself a guideline. But I thought, you know what? Maybe there's some still some cattails over there, but I'm starting to freeze, so that's I can get those at any time. Oh, there's a couple over here.
Okay. Yeah, I think I'll just double check. Do I have any Tinder? Good, I don't. And we're back. And fish sounds good right about now. Perfect. Well. I would say, let's grab one of these. Um, I have some things I want to store. I don't think I want to stay here tonight. Um... Let's store this fishing book. So this is a bear hide. Take all these guts. Take all that. I'm going to take one of those with me. Yeah. Anything else in here? I don't think so. I'm going to relocate a can opener to uh, trappers. I'm going to even relocate a flare there. Um, I got a hacksaw on me. I'm going to relocate a flint or a sharpening stone thingy, my jobber. Yeah. I take my bedroll with me. In case I well no, I don't think I'll need it. And it's a lot of weight to carry for very little reason. Maybe we'll relocate this bad bedroll over there and repair it along the way. Just leave it over there. I mean all the bedrolls in the exact same place. We don't care about that. Um grab one more water. Oh now I'm overweight. Um, that's not good. I don't want to be overweight. And drop a leader back. I got and got cooking stuff. I've got my tools, which is late. okay. Got most of that stuff. We don't need this on us. So I'm pretty good. Got the bear thing, a bunch of guts. All right, where's the door? I think I'm going to go back to Trappers. Point is, is now there's a... I should have hauled a bunch of fish up, but I was pretty tired. There's like security there now, right? Like there's water, lots of water, lots of food. There's some wood, burnables, right? So... I have a fallback place, a panic place. It's getting established. But I think I'm gonna go back to Trappers and uh, I'm gonna do my crafting there. And uh, it's just a more, like, there's this opportunity because the other thing is I have to start, like, kind of waiting for that moose to show up, even though my bow needs to be repaired. And I think I'm gonna go to Mountain Town in order to look for quality tools. Um, maybe even before I do the bear thing speaking of bear things it probably would help if I had brought the other one with me because the one that I have out there is not even close to being done so that was dumb of me
Sorry about that. That was a very unnecessary time delay of walking because I forgot the one thing I actually needed to bring with me. Yep. It's very odd. Like, what are those crows? Is there a corpse somewhere around here? Like, what are those crows buzzing about? Anyways. I blame it on the dark. Sack of papers, water bottle. Bear hide. Door. Chair. Cloth. Door. Now I can go. I might as well do some sprinting. That way I can get tired. And I can sleep because I'm going to go to bed fairly early when I get there. Those four birds I saw when I first... I'm starting to think I was seeing things because uh, I know there's some kind of new bird added. Those four birds I saw, I haven't seen those in the entire time I've been playing. Since I started this run, I haven't seen them. Then I saw them for like a brief second. They were there, and then as soon as I went back outside, they disappeared. The deer disappeared, and they disappeared. I think they're called ptarmigans or something like that. I'm sure they produce very little meat. If you were to use an arrow on one, you'd want to be uh, using the fire-hardened arrows. If they were more frequent, I would make some fire-hardened arrows and hunt them, but I should make some of those to hunt rabbits. But... And also just throw rocks at rabbits. I know the spawn slowly about the wildlife, and I think it includes the wolves, slowly starts to become less and less frequent. And uh, I don't know like when the peak, when it starts and when the peaks, but I would assume by now the spawn has started to diminish. quite a bit on me because I'm not seeing a lot of wildlife anymore whereas the first three weeks in this run was just a, like they were everything was everywhere all at once there's a rabbit That rabbit really wants me to take a shot at him. There's a deer. Well, I don't have time for that. My bow doesn't have condition for that. I don't like hunting when I'm burdened anyways. I'm tired and freezing. This is not, it's not, not the ideal uh, condition to be now go trying to hunt a deer. I just want to get the trappers and go to sleep. Yeah, another reason I want to hang out with trappers while I'm crafting is because I want the moose to show up so I can make a, the, the moose satchel or whatever it is and get another five kilograms going on.
These are the kind of moments when all of a sudden a wolf appears from behind a tree and just nails you instantly. Trying to be a little bit quiet and listen. Not a lot going on down there. There's that bear I killed. It's still there. Wow. I'll have to go get all the meat off of it. I have another cooking festival. I don't think I only got about half of it done. Get my cooking skill up. Oh no, that was a rock. No, the bear must be further over. I forgot where it was. I thought I still was, had one more valley to go through. I'm already here. I made good time. Oh yeah, see, it left lots of supplies here. Anything to drop out here? No. Take that water. Yeah, we'll take that. It's still fresh. And a little bit of warmth. It's nice. There's the bed. Uh, I gotta drop the... Uh, that'd be so dumb if I didn't drop this. Bear's hide. I drop that. Everything else is fine. Um, need to do a little eating. A little drinking. 63 cattails. Nice. Do a little 10 hours sleeping. Do a little healing. Hopefully wake up and it's light out. Mm, almost. All right. Let's drink some more. Can eat this. Hey, not bad recovery. Um, let's have a look at our skills. Let's have a look at everything. Day 55. Cooking. So close. Harvesting. Not bad. Fire starting very, very close to, uh, to getting the next level. Archery, level three, not bad. Uh, 92%, so still got another day on it. Tomato soup. So, um, I want to store some stuff here, right? Where's the, where can I store some stuff? God, it's dark. Anyways, you know what? I think, uh, I think we'll end the episode here. Uh, because it's a fresh new day and uh, I may go to Mountain Town in the next episode and go loot everything there and come back and then the bear hide will be ready. I don't know exactly where do I want to sit here and do it here. It takes so long. I feel like I got get my quality tools so I can repair stuff. So uh, I think that's what I'll do. I'll probably head out today and go to Milton Town and just go loot that whole zone for a couple days and drag back whatever I feel is valid plus leave everything else at the house there as a stepping stone because it does lead to other zones that i will go to eventually so probably just do something along those lines um but yeah hope you enjoyed the video that being said have a great day and we will see you in the next one